Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Hasva with Preston Every Design, and in today's video, we are going to be doing two quick furniture flips that I will be taking over to the farmer's market for sale. The first piece we're going to be flipping is this little mid-century modern table that I found on the curb in my neighborhood, followed by this antique rocker that was given to me by one of my favorite gardeners that you guys have met several times now, Mr. Ned. Now I'm going to be using my Greco 360 True Air ALS paint sprayer, as well as some transfers from Redesign. So the first thing we're doing is giving both of these pieces a really good clean. One of my viewers did share with me that you should always clean your pieces before you sand them. It makes perfect sense. I'm not sure why I never thought of it before. What happens when you sand before you clean is that you are rubbing the dirt and debris deeper into your wood and that's not good. So give your pieces a really good clean, let dry and then sand. using Dawn dish soap with warm water and these rags that I get from the dollar store. These clean really well. I really enjoy using them. Now I posted pictures of this rocker that um, once I was finished in one of the Facebook groups that I'm a member of and one of the followers was very upset that I painted this rocker and uh, i'm really sorry however you know i do whatever feels good to my soul i like this rocker but it wasn't getting the love that it deserved and it just needed to be painted because giving it a new life uh, made it very desirable and it went to a very good home and you know i've learned in life that some of us have to leave home to find home so do whatever feels good to your soul however i'm sorry that i hurt your feelings for painting this little rocker Now look how dirty this water is. I always love this part. <laughs> I'm not sure why. I know it's weird. But I love seeing the dirty water after I clean all of my pieces. So we had some rain in the forecast that day. I did have to bring the, the pieces inside my workshop for the standing part. I didn't want to get caught in the rain just in case it did start pouring down. So I am using some wood filler to fill in a few of uh, the parts that needed it at the bottom of the table. I know it's the bottom, no one's going to see it, but part of being a good reseller is making sure that you are providing quality for the money. And that means presenting well finished pieces. Now you guys are going to be upset with me because I lost the footage of these pieces after I had staged them and I almost didn't even upload this video because of that but I figured why make you guys miss out on this whole process just because I don't have finished video but I do have the pictures of them staged so you will be seeing those. Uh, so after sanding, I am going back with clean water, uh, nothing in it, just water and a rug and just removing all of the dust. Now I know some people use uh, vacuums and blowers, but I like to use a wet rag. Now if you see that rocker rocking back there, it is not a ghost, it is my two year old. I know you can't see him, but trust me, he's there. Okay, so here we are. And you guys, I did not fast forward this. I am showing you this in real time. Look how long it takes me to paint both of these pieces with my paint sprayer. 
if you don't want to time it I'll tell you it is a minute and 45 seconds that's how long it takes me to paint both of these so if you are still on in the market and debating on which paint spray to get I know there's so many out there but I will say that I'm really happy with this one so far Now, I will be honest, however, there are some cons with this sprayer that I have noticed. And one of them is overspray. The overspray is really bad. Um, it could be user error, but I am noticing that I have a lot of overspray once I remove this white sheet um, that's on the concrete. So what I'm going to need to invest in is a spray tent uh, to be able to contain some of this. So otherwise, I know I'll be getting letters from my... Homeowners Association to power wash my driveway. Okay, so the first coat is done in a minute and 45 seconds. I did give two coats and I let both pieces dry and I sealed them and I waited 24 hours before applying my transfers. Now, I am new to using transfers. I do try them out on some smaller pieces and then once I got more comfortable, I uh, graduated myself to these small pieces of furniture and so these are the uh, transfers that i ordered from amazon from prima redesign and uh, all you have to do is measure and decide where you want to place them and then use the rubbing tool that comes with the transfers to transfer your image now to show you how much of an amateur i am i should have positioned this transfer the other way around so that the sharp edge is not where you can see so that straight line should have been falling off the edge here so that you don't see it so to fix that i'm going back and i'm adding some um, smaller pieces so that you don't see where i cut my transfer hey beginner error but i know better now so okay so here it is all finished up and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I hate that I do not have the video, the video footage of me staging it. What happened is Preston's best friend, Kes, did something with my phone that made me ask his mom to disinfect it. And once his mom disinfected it, the phone went completely out of commission. And uh, I had to wait on T-Mobile to mail me a new phone, which took... Three days because it happened on a Friday and you know how things go during the weekend. So anyway, here it is all done in its glory. And I sold this piece for $60. It was a curbside find. So, and I only used a quarter of a transfer, about eight ounces of paint. So all together, I spent maybe $5 in product for a profit of $55. Now moving on to the rocker, I am removing the fabric from the cushion. This is the original fabric and this rocker was pretty, pretty old. Um, this fabric was really dirty and the stuffing underneath I did. Um, I was thinking I might need to keep it, I might be able to keep it, but I wasn't. So I am using my butter knife screwdriver to remove the staples from the cushion and then I'm going to throw all of that stuffing away because it's super old and I don't want to keep it. I would rather get something new. Now I still didn't go out and buy anything else for this. I found an older pillow that I have in my house that I no longer really like and I just took the stuffing out and I'm using some Elmer's glue all to um, attach some of this filler um i'm sure it's probably not even gonna be necessary but i just put it there because it made me feel good <laughs> i 
have a tiny third helping hand. Can you see it? Okay, so funny story about this uh, cushion. I upholstered it with two different fabrics. Originally, I used this. Now, both of these fabrics did come from Hobby Lobby. I did purchase them by the yard. And so I used this one, which is like a green. Uh, it's like a floral motif. It's beautiful. But once I uh, attached it to the rocker with the transfers that were on it, it seemed a bit busy and the transfers and the fabric were competing with each other. So I ended up re-upholstering it with a second piece of fabric, but I left this one on here. So now it has two layers of fabric. When the first layer gets old, the owner can just remove it and we still have this second layer underneath. Now I'm not really good at upholstering so I hope you're not looking to this for some tips because I haven't done this very often. Oh so while I was doing this my Amazon packages came in and look you guys I have some new bags for my market. I do like for my buyers to have something pretty to take their items in so the Amazon guy dropped off my packages and he is curious on days that he has to drive past my house and I don't have a package. So <laughs> the other thing I got is this book from Amazon. It's called The Artist's Way. It was recommended. Well, it wasn't recommended, but I saw one of my favorite YouTubers reading it. And so I decided I would grab a copy for myself. And it's been really, really helpful and insightful. And then I got these shipping bags from Amazon as well because sometimes I ship some big items, some frames. And so instead of always having to use a box, I can save my customers some money by using these bags that are not so heavy. Anyway, back to the real reason. More here. Now I'm about to apply this transfer to this little rocker. Now this was really a puzzle uh, because the space that I'm working with is so tiny that I had to cut each piece individually and then puzzle it together. But it came out just fine. You can even tell that it was several pieces attached together. know fabric looks like in my opinion it looks too busy with the transfer so I switched it to this plain green velvet and that was perfect
all right guys thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this process if you have learned anything from this video please give me some support by clicking that like button leave me a comment below and share this video with a friend who might enjoy it thank you and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye